I look like you today. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh, yes. In the scriptures, you look around from Genesis to Revelation. There are three things that give you so much concern. And you don't know how to deal with it. Even sometimes you look at the dictionary. Even professor, when I listen to them delivering a message, the use of those words, faith, belief, trust, is quite different from the biblical word, the use of faith. So I think this is giving you so much headache. So today we shall talk about faith, or believe means trust. Tell your neighbor. Faith or belief means trust. Tell me whether you call it faith or faith or what, 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 what. It all means what? Trust. Faith or belief means trust. Yes. We shall talk about it today. You no, know, it's often I used to say there is power in our mouth. The belief that is B E L I E F in our heart is released by faith. Tell your neighbor. Can you see? It's not that you have the power to say, rise and war. But where is the faith to release the power? It's like uh, money is in the bank, and the bank is not open. How will you receive this? Hmm? Uh, you're, you're, you get home, you want to enter, you finally find that uh, your key is, is missing. You open the bar, your wallet, you start looking for key, 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 but you need the key to open the door, but the key is missing. So that key is faith. They are all related to two realities. Faith, belief, trust. They are all related to two realities we cannot see with our natural eyes to God and to God's word. Take a look of the second Corinthians five verse seven. He said, We walk by faith, not by what? But today you claim to walk by faith, at the same time walk by sight. Whereas if you walk by sight, you don't you don't need faith. And if you walk by faith, you don't need sight. But two, you, you, as a Christian today, they walk by sight, they walk by faith. And the Bible says, we walk by faith, not by sight. That is the standard of Christianity. Tell your neighbor, you walk by faith, not by sight as a Christian. I can't hear you. As a Christian, I'm talking to Christian. The Christian walk by faith, not by sight. But you, you walk by faith and also walk by sight. But Christian walk by faith, not by sight. This means if you walk by faith, we do not need to walk by sight. And if you walk by sight, you do not need to walk by faith. But you, you walk by faith. At the same time, you walk by sight. You, you, are, you are confusing Christian. You don't understand yourself. This is it. This is why today you want to see God. We cannot always see him walking because our faith is not based on what we see, but what we believe. Can you see now? Can you, what can you see here? A man, TV Joshua. But it's not the man that is here. It's not the man that is talking to you. 
But what you can see is the man TB Joshua. But it's not this, the man you are seeing that is working. That's true. You claim to walk by faith, also walk by sight. It's not the man that is here. If this man is the one that is here, oh yeah, you come and do what I'm doing. Because you are a human being like me. Okay, come. The natural faces, the natural appearance you are seeing is man putting on netting, blue netting. Okay, if it's that man that is here, oh yeah, you come, take over. Because if you say you are not one by side, okay, tell me who is here. Tell me what you are looking. If you see what is here, if you see those who are with me here, this appearance is mere camouflage. You know, camouflage, a soldier put on uniform, but you don't know the type of soldier he is. So this is what we should be crying for. Not I'm poor, I'm sick. You're crying for money, crying for this, crying for that. No, what you are supposed to cry for is your spiritual life. You are in the dark. Without direction of the Holy Spirit, man of God, pray for me. Man of God, pray for me. So, <laughs> any time can be your best time. But without direction of Holy Spirit, if I give, I give of myself. If I pray, I pray of myself. If I prophesy, I prophesy of myself. If I hear, be he, I hear of myself. You remember the, the book of John 7? You start reading from verse 2. When the brother of Jesus asked him to go to the feast, he said to them, oh, this is not time for me to go to the feast. But any time can be your time. You meet your man or girl, say, man of God, pray for me. Man of God, pray for me. Man of God need direction of the Holy Spirit to pray for you. If man of God pray for you without the direction of the Holy Spirit, he's praying of himself. You know, you have been reading this verse so much, but it's like, what am I saying? It's true. This is direction, but I'm going this way. You claim to walk by faith, you also claim to walk by sight, front, back, front, back. This is your Christian life. So this is the journey. But your journey, because you walk by faith, you walk by sight. You walk by faith, you walk by sight. You walk by faith. By... If anybody argue here that, no, I'm not walk by sight, I'm walking by faith. Okay, tell me who is here. Because who, whom, the man you are looking cannot do all what you are seeing here. Oh, what you see all the time can never. It's a human being. This is beyond natural. If the man that is talking to you is the same man you are looking, you will have defeated him. You know the war you have wrought against this man right from the beginning of the ministry. It's beyond human comprehension. Tell your neighbor, we walk by faith, not by sight. If we walk by faith, we do not need to walk by sight. This is contrary to the natural way of our thinking. Seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. If you don't see, you don't believe. You are here today because you have seen a lot on the Emmanuel TV. The miracle, the science, that is your way of approaching God. That is why you are here today. Sin is believing. This is contrary to our natural way of thinking. But the Bible reverses the order. First, we must believe. Then, we will see. We must believe, then we will see the glory. I want you to be disturbed right now about your spiritual life. That, oh, I thought I was a Christian. I thought 
I was born again. I thought I'm a great apostle. If you thought you were great Christian, great apostle, why are you run out of faith when life becomes difficult? <laughs> tell, tell your neighbor, why are you run out of faith when life becomes difficult? True Christian, true believer, never run out of faith. When life becomes difficult, the same faith that brought them, that brought them to Jesus, that brought them to God, will keep them. But I was here, I'm supposed to run out of faith with all what you have done to me. You blow my house. You sent me to jail, to prison for 13 days. There's nothing you have not done to me. But I never run out of faith. What have they done to you? And you are running out of faith. The same faith that brought you to the law will keep you. Let's take our book to the book of John 6. John 6. Sometime after this, Jesus crossed to the far shore of the sea. And a great crowd of people followed him because they saw the sign he had performed by healing the sick. Then Jesus went up on Monte's side and sat down with his disciples. Hmm. Sat down with his disciples. That is where we are going. Sat down with disciples. You are one of the disciples if you say you are a Christian. Let's go to verse 47. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes has internal life Whoever believes in me has internal life. Whoever. My prayer is that your response will be to believe in God's Son, in Jesus' name. Amen. The problem of believing is made simple. When we know that it is on what God has spoken. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not lie. Believing demise action. You believe it will not rain. You don't have to carry an umbrella. That umbrella nullifies your work, your faith. You believe you have healed, you have been delivered. You now come to me and say, man of God, what, what, what will I do with this medicine? Uh, go and chop it. Can you see? Can you see I know where it's going? That man of God said, don't use medicine. When medicine is nature, and God is God of nature, so don't use medicine. This is what you want to hear from man of God. Believing demise what? Action. Create action. Create action. Faith or belief means what? Trust. Why mental ascent to commit the word to memory does not add, but admires, admits. 
So during your Bible, you memorize it. Acting on the way is letting Christ act through you. Acting on the way then gives God an opportunity. Acting on the way brings Jesus to the scene. Jesus, you say Jesus, in person of Holy Ghost. Doers, here I know doers are here. Doer of the word. Let you see your, your Bible. Tell your neighbor, I'm energized by Jesus. You are energized by Jesus as 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 30 said. I have Jesus as wisdom as knowledge, as strength. The hearer may show some blessing promises, but it is Dua that delivers. Blessing promises. Yeah, Jesus is Lord. Amen, amen. Jesus is Lord. Amen, amen. Blessings, promises, but it is Dua that delivers. Because they have Jesus as wisdom. They have Jesus as strength. They have Jesus as knowledge. You say you believe the Bible. That means you are a doer of the word. Not a hearer only. If you say you believe God, that means you believe his word. You cannot believe God and not believe his word because God and his word are one. God does nothing without his word. When you believe God's word, you should then have no hesitation to also do what his words say. Faith or belief means trust. Faith must be lived out daily. Faith is the way to please God and obtain his promises. You want to please him? By faith. To obtain his promises? By faith. It's the way to please God and obtain his promises. Every believer needs faith. As a house needs strong foundation to stand the storm. Every believer needs faith to stand for Jesus. If not, you cannot stand the test of time. You cannot stand the trial. You cannot stand the temptation. You cannot stand the tribulation. And the Bible says, in this world, there will be tribulation. Shelf. Faith is in the present tense. It's in the present tense. It believes now. It receives now. It acts now. 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 We live in the present, and our faith must live and walk in the here and now. We look to the past for encouragement, the pain of the past. What lesson you learn from it? The failure of the past, what lesson you learn from it? Your divorce in the past, what lesson you learn from it? Tell your neighbor, we look to the past for encouragement. The pain of the past, what lesson you learn from it? The failure of the past, what lesson you learn from it? The affliction of the past, what lesson you learn from it? 
But opposite is the case today. You keep looking at the past to confuse the future. We look at the future for hope. Jesus did it in the past. He will do it again. That is for hope. Look, hope, hope. Tomorrow, next, you look to the future for hope. You remember where you are coming from, your, your antecedent, your track record, what you have gone through in the past. He did it in the past. He will do it again. The question remains, how do we live out our faith? When you don't even have faith, how will you answer the question? I believe now, your faith is enhanced now. How do we live out our faith? That is the question. We live out our faith by trusting that God is working out the answer. We live out our faith by trusting that God is working on our behalf, indeed. And how? By keeping our focus on God instead of the challenges, instead of circumstances, instead of your tribulation, instead of your affliction, by Keeping our focus on God. Don't forget, it is only in the present that we can change the circumstances. It is only in the present we can change our situation and the life we now live in. The book of Hebrews 11 verse 1 says, Since faith is the substance of thing hoped for and evident of thing not seen. I think I have answered that question for you. Think about it. How do I live out my faith? That is the answer for you. And there is, there is no better way to, to answer that. No better way. So now, how will I live out of my faith? Okay, I have to teach you. Let me focus on God. Number two. Question. What is faith? Let's go to work. What is faith? Faith is of the heart, not an outward show. Our own, now, our own faith is outward show. Little time you say, eh? God, God, you say what? You say what? You say what? Mm -mm, I can hear God. God, God. Mm -mm. God, God, thank you, thank you, thank you. Not lie. You hear God? With your ear? No, you cannot hear God with your ear. You can only hear God with your heart. Mm -hmm. Say, oh God, mm -hmm. he's talking to me. Some people, when you are talking to them, they say, mm -hmm. it's in the spirit. It's in the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. Faith is of the heart, not an actual show. Actual show is anything that that does not come from the heart. Okay, we have master degree here, even we have PhD among us here. If you now ask them question of King Agati, they may likely not answer it, because they have forgotten it. Their study is not from the heart, it's from the what? One, first degree, second degree, they forget the first degree. Master degree, PhD, they forget master degree. Confirm professor, they forget the PhD. I mean, that is how they grow. Study, drop it, drop it, drop it. But you cannot ever forget anything about faith from your nursery to it's there. <laughs> if they call many of our PhD, even professor for for an interview, they will now start looking for their children primary school for revision. <laughs> for revision, they will call their children to bring, bring your biology, bring your physics. 
Bring it. Your, their primary school book, they will call, no, see, even no street Kigagate children, they'll say, where is the paper? Bring it to my table. They want to do revision. When they get there, they may ask them that uh, equilibrium price, how do you define it? Which one is equilibrium? A PhD of uh, <laughs> faith is of the heart, not an outward show. Outward show is anything that does not come from the heart. Whatever comes from your heart will remain there, remain there, remain there until you leave this world. It is simply relying upon God, no matter what happened, no matter what anyone else thinks or say, because our faith is not based on what we see, but what we believe. Don't forget believe. From the beginning, I said, there is power in our mouth, they believe in our heart. They believe heart, believe heart, believe heart, they believe heart. It's relayed by faith out of our mouth. Believe heart, believe heart. We cannot always see him working because our faith, our belief is not based on what we see, but what we believe. Now, back to the question, how is the belief formed and strengthened. Don't forget, faith or belief means trust. Don't forget, when I say belief, when I say faith, when I say trust, I, I still mean the same. It is formed and strengthened when we hear the truth of God's word, truth of God's word. You know, when the Holy Spirit speak, our faith will strength, form, strength. If it is Holy Spirit that is speaking to you now, it enhances your faith, it grows your faith, if it is Holy Spirit. But if it is TB Joshua that is speaking to you, oh, my friend, it's gone. Nothing. To strengthen your faith, to form your faith. So, mean, today we hear message that are not from the Holy Spirit. A lot of message we hear because of, the, we, we, we find it difficult to differentiate this because of speaking skill, ability to inspire, this, that is difficult for us. A lot of our message we hear today are not from the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit speaks, faith form and strength. Man has ability to talk, to, to preach, to teach. Man. Man can. In Jesus' name, man has ability to do that. Be he, man has ability to do that. Be deliver, man has ability to do that. To preach gospel, man has ability to do that. But the Holy Spirit himself preaches, teaches, which is different from the ability of man. But when the Holy Spirit preaches and teaches faith, form, and strength, that's different. Everything you seem Holy Spirit can do, man also trying to do. Holy Spirit pray, man pray. Holy Spirit preach, man also preach. This is the confusion in the world today. You don't know which one is the Holy Spirit. Which one is from God? Which one is man doing? Holy Spirit planting church everywhere. Man too can have churches everywhere. So the evidence that this is church of God does not mean when church is bigger, crowd. It's not an evidence. That ah, the church is the biggest in the world. It's not an evidence that is from God. Ah, the pastor is, is a good preacher. Very, very, that's not me. That does not have evidence. The strength of the church is not the crowd. It's not the number of membership. Question number four. How does faith grow? 
faith grows when we diligently seek the Lord, study to show ourselves approved, not just open the Bible and read like a literature, read like a history, read like a biology, read like a physics, because you are well educated, no. To show yourself approved, study to show yourself approved. That's it. What do I mean? I mean, when you read your Bible with forgiveness, faith grows. When you pick your Bible to read with forgiveness, faith form, strength. That's what I mean. You know this Bible, you know everywhere in the Bible, but you are not the Bible. Your heart is not Bible. I take it again. How does faith grow? Faith grow when we diligently seek the law, study to show ourselves approved. That is, reading the Bible with forgiveness. What happened? You don't feel right or wrong. Reading your Bible with forgiveness. Faith continues to grow as we take him at his word. Mm. 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 You, know, you, you begin to think about your shortcoming, where you miss Mark. You can know now, oh, I miss Mark because I read my Bible with unforgiving spirit. Tell your neighbor, I made the Bible work. If you are right, your Bible is right. That's why we call it Bible. It's not yet holy Bible. It is person that carries it, that make it holy. Make it work. It cannot work itself. Faith or belief. Me trust. His promises give us something to hang on to when life becomes difficult. That is why you have to live by faith. His promises. That's Every man fall, but the wise get back up. Tell your neighbor, every man fall, but the wise get back up. His promises this us something to hang on to when life becoming what? Unbearable. This is why you need faith. Every believer, every Christian needs faith. As a house needs strong foundation to stand the storm. 